Snipers, you have to see what's happening to the Bitcoin price right now. As traditional markets opened up today, Twitter up over 30% after Elon Musk announced that he's now the largest shareholder and everyone's distracted from the cryptocurrency market, which by the way, Elon Musk is a huge advocate of. And so this is the perfect time for us snipers to dive into the charts and talk about what's happening in the four dimensional revolving parts because we have a lot of dissecting to do with new weekly candles across the board. Let's dive straight into the charts, smash like one for the YouTube algorithm if you support this content. And we have our first weekly candle above the 20 week moving average since the 29th of November from last year after we came below the 20 week moving average. So is this a macro decision that Bitcoin is making that it's time to reverse to the upside back into price discovery potentially? Well, a lot of people are saying, well, name, what is the max amount of downside that you would tolerate with this uptrend to assume that it's still intact? And here's what I'll say, because we just got above the 20 week moving average and the S&P 500 is also above the 20 week moving average, which Bitcoin is showing a lot of correlation with, then we have to look at this as a very significant level right at 43,800, let's say. And so if we were to just keep this 20 week moving average on the chart, and then look at our previous weekly open, which is at 46,825. We've yet to get above that level. Remember that $47,000 resistance we were talking about last week? That's what I'm talking about right now. That's our previous weekly open now. And so we have this range that Bitcoin is in, and I am totally fine as long as Bitcoin stays inside of this range, which means it's above its 20 week moving average, and if it's below its previous weekly open, we can assume it's still moving range bound. Maybe people are distracted with other things in the market, but this doesn't mean we're starting to lose momentum. As long as we stay above this 20 week moving average sitting at 43,800, I believe the upside scenario is still intact. Confirmation to the upside would be getting above that previous weekly open. Let's call it 47,000. As we've been talking about, you guys know we get above 47,000. Not only are we opening the door, to break a macro bearish pattern because we get above the neckline of the head and shoulder, but now we're ready to test 50,000, that big even, where if that door opens, we see strong momentum and volume coming for Bitcoin again. And that's when we can assume a parabolic trend to the upside. But as long as we're above this 20 week moving average, I wanna be clear that I am not concerned. Now, is there a potential that we drop down to this 20 week moving average to test it? It's on the table, but honestly, it's probably not too likely unless the S&P 500 decides to do that because Bitcoin was stronger by its monthly candles in January, February, and March. I would expect that to be the same case in April. And you can see the S&P 500 is fully above its 20 week moving average still, which means that unless that happens, and I'm gonna be very clear with what I'm trying to say here, snipers, because you guys are asking me, what is the most amount of downside you to tolerate? Well, as long as we're above the 20 week moving average for Bitcoin, 43,800, everything is going as planned. We are continuing this trend up. There's still momentum. Now, if the S&P 500 drops below its 20 week moving average, that would be a puzzle piece that I'm monitoring that would start to bring some doubt as to the strength of this breakout. But that hasn't happened yet. But if it does happen, that's what we need to monitor this week. The second thing we have to monitor and we're kind of already getting a confirmation of this right now is that there might be a small push to the downside in the immediate short term. I'm talking within the next 24 to 48 hours because of the fact that the gold to Bitcoin chart got back above its 100 and 200 day moving average after getting below them. And this has been a leading indicator for the Bitcoin dominance chart, which is still below its 100 and 200 day moving average. So what I'm also expecting and what we need to watch this week is, is Bitcoin dominance going to come up just a little bit, maybe back above its 100 and 200 day moving average before continuing further down. If we see this upside move for Bitcoin dominance, that could be because the overall market sees a slight pullback. We shave some of the altcoins market cap. Bitcoin dominance slightly comes up because it's been coming down so much. And then we see continuation, but we've gotten far enough. And I want to be very clear with the S&P 500 and for Bitcoin to be able to see some downside and for us not to be too concerned that this upside move is falling apart because of how strong the recent uptrend has been. So number one, S&P 500 coming below its 20 week moving average, that would be a concern, hasn't happened yet. Number two, Bitcoin dominance, let's expect a small push back up 
It could even be Bitcoin breaking out, which I think is still highly probable on the table above 47,000. We have to get above 47,000 though. And so we're going to watch Bitcoin dominance. It looks like it's ready for a little bit of a relief. And then I want to talk about what's happening here to the theorem of Bitcoin chart, because this is also something that is going to influence my decision quite a bit. Even if the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart sees a little bit of downside, it's kind of irrelevant to watch the Ethereum to US dollar price at this point, because right now what we need to focus on is, is this move real for the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart. As long as we stay above this, then I believe things are still intact. The last thing I'm watching for this week, at least, is as long as Ethereum to Bitcoin stays above this, if we drop below it, that would also be a major concern. So in any case, I don't want to see the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart fall apart. But because it's all still intact, how could we not assume that Bitcoin is ready for some upside? The Ethereum to US dollar price, by the way, just quickly is still fighting to get to this 3454 level and hold it as a support coming above and below it. We have to realize that it's not going to really make that strong decision to get above it, probably unless the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart sees an unusual amount of exuberance, which currently it kind of is, or if Bitcoin gets above 47,000, this would trigger Ethereum to most likely go parabolic to the upside, especially because it's showing strength against Bitcoin. But if we see a slight pullback, as long as that Ethereum to Bitcoin chart stays above that major support that was previous resistance, I think things are looking still very strong for the overall market. So the DXY is the reason we're seeing a little bit of a slowdown right now. Things are kind of flat for Bitcoin. It's pushing back up. I'm also monitoring this. If we break above this consolidation area that we've been forming, this channel, this flag, then that would also be a concerning puzzle piece, but it hasn't happened yet. So there's a lot to watch this week. You want to stay tuned in, snipers, because not just Bitcoin right now, but so many revolving parts like Twitter up 30%. Check this out after Elon Musk announced that he's now the largest shareholder of Twitter, even a larger shareholder than Jack Dorsey, who recently stepped. So interesting way to start off our Monday. But after we broke out from 42,000, we got enough momentum for Bitcoin to get above 45,000. We've been able to hold 45,000. Maybe while you're watching this video, we come below 45,000. No big deal. We stay above that 20 week moving average. We're still strong. I don't see a reason for this to even happen right now because S&P 500 is way and above its 20 week moving average for this new weekly candle. So what's the point? That's why I told you guys when yesterday's or last week's weekly candle closed for the S&P 500 above the 20 week moving average, it was a bullish bias. Somebody in the comments was like, such an ugly weekly candle. It didn't matter because it closed above the 20 week. So this new weekly candle opened above it already and it stayed above it. So there's just a bullish bias in general across the board. And so don't be surprised if maybe while you're watching this video, Bitcoin's at 50,000. I think that's highly probable. I'm on my way to Miami for the Bitcoin conference, by the way. If you're going to be there, hit me up on Instagram. I think it's from the 6th to the 9th of April in Miami at the Miami Convention Center. So I'll see some of you snipers there, potentially 10% off tickets with the link down below. It's been on our videos for the last two months. And with that, thank you all for tuning into the Snipers channel today. What an interesting Monday. A lot to keep in mind for this week. We'll continue to cover it as we always do here on the Snipers channel. And I appreciate each and every one of you tuned in. And until next time, snipers.